G'day mateys and welcome back to the Down Under Gamer channel. It is the Down Under Gamer here and we are back with a bunch of random uh, World of Tanks gameplay today. Uh, so obviously uh, for those of you that are familiar with World of Tanks, uh, they've obviously just rolled out the 1.2 patch update. Um, you know, I just watched the... Um, uh, I guess you could say the change log video that they did. Uh, obviously, they've added a new map. Uh, they've re uh, reworked a bunch of maps, done um, like pretty 3D overhauls on a couple of maps. Um, uh, you know, done a heap of working with uh, the preferential matchmaking tanks such as the IS-6. Um, and just a whole other tweaks and stuff like that to personal missions. Uh, for me personally, uh, I'm still... Uh, you know, sucking pretty hard, but I soldier on um, because I just, as I always say, guys, I do this for fun. Um, but obviously, we have now got the uh, the Su-85, uh, which was, um, you know, obviously a Soviet uh, tank destroyer. Uh, so I've got him. He's completely stock at the moment. Uh, I think I maybe, yeah, I've got the the upgraded engine and the upgraded uh, suspension. Obviously, I'm going for the um, uh, you know the 85 millimeter uh, D5S uh, gun. I think that's the best one to go. This is obviously a bit of a derp gun, um, but this one here has obviously got half decent penetration. Uh, it's got reasonable damage for a tier five. Uh, so once I have enough EXP, um, you know, obviously we'll look at upgrading to that. That also unlocks the Su 100. Uh, which is uh, naturally it's more sort of uh, armoured uh, big brother I guess so um, now also we managed to uh, upgrade our ARL and we have got this a big high caliber gun on here which packs an absolute punch uh, so if we have a look at your standard rounds here 180 to 300 damage um, you know, pretty decent penetration, 212, um, you know, um, not too bad, not too bad at all. And obviously if we have a look at these, 242, uh, 40 damage, uh, on the, uh, the under heat rounds. Um, so obviously that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this uh, bad boy out for a spin. Uh, we're playing on the Hong Kong server. There's about three and a half thousand people online so far. Uh, they did the patch earlier today, uh, so the servers have just come back online. So they're still taking a little while to obviously uh, populate. Uh, but that's okay. I'm sure uh, later today there will be, you know, 10,000 odd people online or something like that. Um, but that said, guys, we're still 100% free accounts. Um, you know, we don't... Um, we don't pay for anything here uh, it's all 100 percent free uh, apart from obviously my r6 which uh, was gifted to me by a good friend uh so that's it guys um you know if you're uh you know you just enjoy having a good laugh um and watching some world of tank fails um or just uh, in general enjoy what we're doing here on the channel uh, then smash that subscribe button uh drop this video a like or give it a like uh, a thumbs down uh, leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, roastings, all that good stuff uh, down in the comment section below. So uh, let's take this bad boy. Now I do have some bad experiences here on the Hong Kong server. Um, like uh, as in teams just don't coordinate well whatsoever. Um, it is what it is. It's a very much a bad man yourself scenario this one. Normally. Obviously we are uh, we're bottom tier. We will uh, we'll soldier on. We'll do what we can. But the good thing that I have found since I put uh, this gun on this tank is um, it definitely, definitely has the ability to um, pen tier eight armor um, and certainly. Uh, some grief. Uh, obviously we've got our uh, binos on here to give us some extra Q range. Um, not that it really helps obviously with a lot of um, small tanks on the, on the map, but I mean at the end of the day like you could uh, you know pop yourself like an extra um, an extra few sort of experience points or whatnot. Um, you know, the event that you do actually spot somewhere. I 
not out already. So that's what stays down to 62 health. FV304 is just going to keep pounding me. And there's not really much I can do about it at this point in time. There we go, we landed one shot for 274 damage. That's not too bad. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a nice gun. Oh, well, we're getting completely overrun on that flank, so totally overrun. I actually haven't taken this tank out for a little while, so let's take the old uh, Crusader out. So bottom tier, so we're pretty much just uh, scouting, I suppose. So what do we have on our team in regards to scouts? Team aggressive actions, okay. No idea exactly what that entails, but anyway. So we've got the Leopard, he's a bit of a scout tank. The AMX-13F3, pretty sure that's artillery. But he'll be staying back, and the only other one we've really got is maybe the Panzer 3-4.
so they're leopards over there, so hopefully you can get chased away by leopards before. Did a bit of damage to him. Should have moved, but it is what it is. That tank's gonna die. And we got the spotting damage for it as well, so. Uh, that team's definitely off to a bad start. Zero and two. Here, we'll demount that. Let's take out our Sue. Oh, he's already got binos on him, so we'll put this on our normal tiger. And as expected, our ARL uh, lost. So normally when I'm waiting for a game, I give it about 60 seconds, um, you know, depending on the class of vehicle. Um, <coughs> you know, if it takes longer than a minute to find a game on a, a reasonably populated server, then there's obviously an issue. There's just not enough demand. Oh, here's the new map. Cool. Empire's Border. Um, uh, they just gave a, a bit of a brief overview of um, the various positions and whatnot on this map probably should have paid attention to that because um, they did mention something about good spots for uh, tank destroyers but anyway it is what it is I think maybe it's like up here or was it over here no, I think it's definitely over here Uh, <coughs> he's been playing tank destroyers a little bit longer than me. 
too soon. Anyway, it is what it is. We're going to win that match, which is good. Give me a little bit of experience and get me close to getting that better gun. Again, <coughs> we're getting close to the, um, I think it's the AMX um, 47 or whatever it is, um, which is uh, the next tier up, uh, the, you know, the level 7 French heavy tank, um, which I think is the first one that gets the auto loader, uh, and then we can start doing some pretty serious damage and having some fun, so, uh, and then it's just a matter of building up enough credits to buy it, like all one and a half million credits or whatever it is I need. So there we go, yeah, a victory for the Sioux, even though we didn't actually do much. try and find like a nice little hidey spot up here, maybe behind that house. <coughs> this gun, like obviously high caliber, high pen, uh, high damage. Um, so we will, uh, you know, try and snipe, I guess, effectively. And that sort of gives us a nice good sort of coverage like all over here. Another piece of artillery doesn't come through and smash us, which is very liable. Uh, but surprisingly enough, these guys, the crew on this tank's not too bad. They are uh, for reasons so The problem is we've got like the majority of our team bunched up in here. There's nothing up here. Nobody's trying to creep up here and scout this out. Um, you guys probably can't actually see. Um, hang on. So uh, effectively, guys, like nobody's gone in, uh, gone up and around. So like you know, A4, A5, trying to scout in up and around there. Um, you know, our teams sort of bunched in the middle of there. So like FE, um, you know, five and six. Um, you know, fair enough, we might be able to sort of sub and flank there, um, you know, down the bottom. Uh, and it looks like we are, but we're not really doing too much up there.
let's take our tiger out um, because he's a tiger. So, uh, sort of even, Stephen, I guess, 50 50. Definitely been moved on to this one. tanks in there that full health they can take a beating and they just sit back to nothing. Absolutely hate that.
have taken that pot shot, but anyway, it is what it is. So that map's definitely a lot more interesting now. A lot more interesting. That's, uh, that's one of the maps that they did the big overhaul on, so... We'll de-mount that one. Let's uh, take uh, this one out, and this will probably be my last one, guys. Now, it, it's, it always sucks when Wargaming always reworks um, their matchmaking system. Uh, uh, bluntly, from what I understand and from what I've personally experienced, it's like they fuck it up every single time and then they need to spend like the next 10 patches fixing the shit they broke with the new fucking matchmaking system. Uh, it's really, really frustrating. It's really, really annoying. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm not a great player anyway. Um, but for, uh, like, there, there are guys out there that I know that play this game that, like, are actually pretty good at this game. And they're always, always, always bitching about the matchmaking system every time they redo it. So, it is what it is. Uh, um, but, you know... It'd just be uh, good if they, their coders and scripters and everything, I guess, could get it right the first time. It would certainly save them a lot of time and a lot of money uh, paying these guys to come back and uh, fix the shit that's already broken. So, or that they've just broken. Tier 10, our tier 9 is the biggest, biggest gun in the battle. We're just sitting there, doing nothing. Like, what, what is this guy doing? I like he's awake. The turret's moving. The gun's moving. Yay! Welcome to the fight, buddy. Sounds like something just got like totally ammo racked. That's it, guys. We're going to call it there for today. Um, so if you get a good laugh out of this one, guys, um, smash that subscribe button and drop this video. A, uh, I'd definitely say a thumbs down for that last effort. And uh, leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, and roastings in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the Down Under Gamer signing off. I hope you all have an awesome day. Cheers.